So right at the beginning, we were given something like an empty page. Uh, there were only two people working for the institute at the time, and and the the the, the project grew in the same time that the team grew. So people they, they start hiring scientists and uh, defining who they are and what they want to achieve. But we knew at the beginning that it will be a research center in fundamental physics, and what it is 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 quite unclear. We imagine all kinds of laboratory and things, but this is not the case. A, a structure that will allow them to be together, working together, exchanging ideas and developing ideas. Uh, that's, that's interesting because that's not such a, a complex program if you think about it. So uh, the idea has to come from the architecture itself of the place to give it a, a clear identity and for sure to the location and the, the placement of the building, Waterloo in that specific, uh, specific area. I was there listening to somebody, a scientist, giving a lecture about uh, the transfer of information in the brain and uh, how negative input can have a, a better impact on the, the, the learning process and things. And so I was kind of lost in, in that, so I started dreaming during the lecture about how I can represent this idea three-dimensionally. So I drew a series of lines on a piece of paper that I still have, and, uh, and narrows that goes through those lines. A bit like if uh, the access to knowledge or was through a system of layers, like something that you have to perforate to make your way through it. You have to make your own way because the apprentissage is not only a unidirectional process, but something that comes also from your capacity to to accept those new ideas and then you can make your way to the next layer and access to a certain knowledge, if I can say. That sketch represents for me the building itself. And it says on one side something that is difficult to understand and on the other side very open, something which opens itself to the, to the landscape and to, to, uh, to the observation of people as something fluid, open and understandable. So uh, that sketch is quite, uh, is quite important. We end up on, a, on a, an interesting site, which is in between a bucolic lake, artificial, but still with trees and quite interesting place, and Caroline Boulevard, which is quite dense. And so we thought that um, that uh, urban structure, the differentiation between the two nature should be expressed in the building. So in the same way, by tracing a line that divide those two words, you, you accept their own identity. Uh, but in the same time, that wall or that line that you created divide those two words. So the only thing you can do is connection in between them. But in the same time, you have to control the movement. So I'm going back to that original sketch that says from one side to the other, from it's not ignorance, but not knowing to knowledge uh, to the other side. We've decided to take that first line of division and to explode it into three-dimensional space. That explains why the building starts by a wall. And I personally made the connection to a blackboard because you see a blackboard with formula. You know that this is science. You know that this is about mathematics, physics, or whatever. But you don't know a word of it. But it means science. So the idea of the black wall is exactly that, the representation of the obscurity of science in some way. So somebody going through that wall accepts to enter into science. The rest of the building is a series of a, a layer of glass that separate, for example, the interior courtyard, bringing you to the other side on the lake, which is totally open with the scientists like exposed to the, um, to the environment in a condition in which they are kind of protected in some way, but in the same time expressing altogether the idea of the building being a brain. Uh, made of several scientists. Does that explain why there is all those uh, cubic elements? They are, they are there to express architecturally the, the individuality of each uh, scientist.